Welcome to another Unicorn to Training video. In this video, we will create a supplier account, a customer account, and also create a back to back sales orders. If you are a new or existing Unicorn to user that needs to install the program, you can do this by going to our website at unicorn.co.uk, go onto the download link, and you can download Unicorn to on the Microsoft Store or via Click Once. So here is my current screen on Unicontour. I've been doing a lot of work, so I have a lot of tabs open. As you can see, I have the vendor tabs and the vendor group tabs, purchase order tabs. But I don't want I don't want to work with this tabs anymore, so I want to close every single one of them. I'll just click on X, close all windows, and I can start all over again. There we go. To your left, you have all your modules: general ledger, customer, CRM vendor, inventory, projects, company, and tools. I'm going to create a, cu a customer account. Click on customer. Click on customer here at the top. A new tab should open where you can see your current existing customer details. I press add to create a new customer account. I can put a uh, Customer number. I say cost zero zero one. Tap down. Account non account name London Modern School. Address um, X Y Z Street. London London W three one PZ City information London. If I have more information I can add it to this customer information. So far the only information I need is a customer group. Do the drop down and select a customer group and um, the delivery address. Fill out as much information as you feel that you need. So far, I only need the delivery addresses and the customer group. And I'll just click on save. And we should have our customer account. There we go. From the customer account, you can also check your open transactions. You can create orders and quotations or check existing invoices. Or add contact and or change other information that you want to change. So. The next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the supplier module, the vendor module, and create a new supplier slash vendor. This follows the same process as creating a customer. So a new vendor, click add. Supplier 001. If you have the VAT number, you can also add that to the information. Stationary first the address ABC, ABC Street London London W two three O. mistake I'm going to copy this information into the delivery address you don't necessarily have to do this for a supply account might as well. Let's go and click select the vendor group or supplier group, trade UK, and any other information you might want to supply. Click save, and there you go. 
that is your vendor account and your customer account. For this example, we want to create a back-to-back -back sales order for the customer which we created. So I'm going to go to the customer module and select sales orders. So I need to sell some stationaries to London Modern School. I have, I have to create the header of the sales order first. Account. Select the account. This would be London Modern School. Reference if you have any information. The order group. Any other other of, of information that you might want to supply. We've added all the information for the customer. Now we can go to the sales order line. So you click save and go to lines. You will get another tab for order lines. In this example, we are going to sell London Monday School um, bought point pens, but we don't have any in stock. So we would create also create a back-to-back -back sales order for this. So I'm going to sell them 10. As you can see, the total amount for the sales order is right up here. Uh, make that 100. Okay. Click save. And go back to the sales order header. From the sales order header, you should click on create purchase sales order. You get a dialog that says what, what type of order do you want to make. I want to make a purchase order from a supplier. My supplier is stationary first. I press OK. It tells you the purchase order has now been created. It gives you the order number, which is 13. You can choose to go and see the purchase lines or stay in the current screen that you're now on. So I want to stay here. Say so no. But if I go to the purchase order tab, press refresh. my PO is here as you can see with the lines ballpoint pen now we have our purchase order and sales order to confirm the sales and purchase order we go to the sales order header to confirm it go to document we drop down and select order confirmation We're going to do a print preview to see the order confirmation invoiced, or we can also send this to an email. In this, in this case here, I also want to Id update my item stock status. And press generate. As you can see, this is my order confirmation report, customer information, and what we're selling to them. You can always modify this report. This is based on just a basic template. You can always modify it and add new things to it. We can also create a delivery note the same way we've created an order confirmation, just by pressing the delivery note, update item stock, print preview so we can see this on the screen. If there was an email here, this option would be active, but currently London Modern School has no email address. So we just click generate. And there we go. This is our delivery note. It follows the same basic template as the order confirmation, but this is also modifiable and you can add and move things around on the report designer. The report designer is located in the tools module. Drop down report generator, and when you click on the report designer, you should be able to create your own invoice templates, delivery note templates, other confirmation templates. Now we're going to create our invoice. For example, we'll create a performer invoice. 
if we click on invoice you have to select simulation if you only want to create a performer invoice press generate and there you go this is your performer invoice for that customer and that's how you create a sales order confirm it create a delivery note and also create invoices